What's up guys, Bobby here, Bobby's Backyard Auto Works. Another day here, guess what? Pick up a new build. Yep, 2006 Chevy HHR, only 125,000 miles on it. Minimal damage, so let's go pick it up. There she is. Glad I brought my air compressor, they're all flat on this side. And we're back, as you can see behind me, the HHR. Yeah, didn't uh, quite work out the way I wanted it to. Um, it was a run and drive, but um one of the bolts for the bottom a arm snapped so i tried driving it out of the lot and no go wheels just went butterfly and yeah all sorts so i had to park it on the side of the road pick up the blazer and put it on a trailer that was all the best thing i can do but it's home the reason why i didn't want to take the trailer and pick it up is because last time when I got the wagon no when I got the 320 um, I busted this ratchet so I rigged it up it came off so basically all the way home it was holding on by one wheel this one this is the only one that's good I get my new ratchets today but day late but i made it home like i said it was only 10 miles from the house so all side streets but here's the brunt of the damage the weird thing is on the lost type it says rear end i don't know how that could be and my wife noticed the gaps look good all the way up but my wife noticed see that sticks out so I don't know if doesn't look like a, a hinge is bad or anything but I don't know we'll check it out because down here I think this is pushed in because you catch but I don't know if it's the door if it has to be that or this pulled out I gotta check under there see if there's any creases and then on the bumper all the tabs are broke I'll see what I can do maybe do some plastic welding on it and then go from the inside get these out but it's not too too bad I think I could take the hatch off or open the hatch take the back panel push this out so significant dent there but that's why they said they totaled it I don't think so ah oh, I didn't see that that's one right there uh, add more it's locked but yeah, here it is right here. So you check it out. Phoenix. Got picked up on 922. So almost two months. But yeah, they mislabeled it. It was not a run and drive. It was an engine start program with not a drive. That's all right. Headlights need to be reworked. That's not hard. But yeah. Let's get it off the trailer and we'll uh, go through it, start it up, see what she sounds like. Well, I, obviously, I already know, but you guys don't know. It does run really, really well. Um, there's no gas in it. So, like I said, let's get it off the trailer. Uh, right before I was going to unload it, mail came and I got the ratchets. But I think I got the wrong ones. I thought mine had two holes. No, this one has one back there and then it holds right there so i'm just gonna order those ones up so i don't have to modify anything because i could put these ones up there and then weld it on the bottom but eh, i just rather get the right ones there are 26 bucks these were 22 bucks and i think i can return them i just gotta look at this see if it's returnable i'm pretty sure so all right let's unload it oh yeah also most of the tires were flat, so good thing I took that with me to Copart. 
got me where I needed to go. And then I had to take all this out. This is all from the back. The battery's back here. Uh, let's turn on the no coat. This thing is dead, dead. Yep, I'm gonna have to force it. It's dead. There we go. All right. All that clicky noise on the door, easy fix. Yep, 10 millimeter bolt and that's fixed. All right. Starts right up, purred like a kitten. Auto window, door handles broke, 12 bucks a piece. This one's broke also. I don't know about the back ones, but I guess it's common. Cheap, cheap uh, Chevy stuff. Probably glue that, but I don't see the radio turning on. That's another thing that's bad with these. Radio goes out a lot on these. Well, we'll see, but Let's bring her down, traction control is off. I don't know why. Let's see if we can get this thing off. There we go. This thing is crazy. I'll show you that broken uh, bolt in a minute let's put the trailer away all right first thing I'm gonna do is recondition this battery so it has eight point well, going down eight volts so what we're gonna do is recondition it all right it says battery and repair now That's not good battery failure but I've never done this so let me disconnect it from the power source that's probably the problem so let's disconnect it get the battery out and just put it in the garage all right let's turn on the noco again so I can start it and you can listen to the engine oh, here's this piece right here all right let's see how dead this battery is all right, boosted it up this time. See, as you can hear, purrs like a kitten, man. Can't fault it. But yeah, this is off a little bit. I'll check that out, but yeah, clean up the engine bay. Runs good, but like I said, it has no gas. None whatsoever. So I'm gonna go get some gas, but let's check out the interior, let's turn it off. But yeah. Driver's seat. Pretty filthy. Like I said, get new handles, order those tonight. Back ones seem to be okay, but look at this. This is disgusting. That is just filthy. I mean, for low miles, how can you do this to this car? Serious, man, look at that. And then the headliner. I don't know what that is, but Jesus. Ew. 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 Passenger seat. Ugh. I mean, I'm going to have to pull all the seats out. Did this come down? Yeah. All right. And there's everything right there. I think that turns into a table or something like that. I'm not sure. 
Look at that. That's disgusting. Disgusting. I found out a car hack I saw on TikTok. I'll show you. This is to clean just this. I mean, uh, I might not be able to clean up to about right there, but the rest of it I'll be able to clean. It's a little trick. Yeah, that lays flat. Oh my god, look at all those fries and everything. Yeah, this thing's disgusting. Here's the passenger seat. Oh, damn. Ew. Man, this is gonna be a nice cleanup video. I mean, the carpet, I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to pull it out. I don't know, we'll see. For sure I'm pulling out the front seats. But AC works. Like I said, the radio I don't think works, but that's common. I'll see what's up with that. And I already uh, pulled this out enough to where the door opens now. I already found the fender. I think the, like I said, I think I can save the bumper. And I think I can save the door. And like I said, I think I can save this. This is not too bad. And I already saw where I can get in from here inside. Pop that out. This is just scrapes. So. Alright. There she is. 2006. HHR. LT. I wish it was the LTZ or the SS. That would have been tight. But I guess this one has like the chrome package or whatever. All right, let's see what we do next. All right, that's going to end this video of Bobby's Backyard Auto Works. Please like, share, subscribe. And if you're a uh, first-time viewer, thank you. Check out my other videos and subscribe. And for everybody that's been supporting me all this time, thank you very much. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and, of course, here, YouTube. So until next time, talk to you guys later.